Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well. So no beer review in this one as per the thumbnail. This is just a unboxing video from Trembling Madness. I haven't done an unboxing video for ages really. I, I get the box in, order them and quite often think about doing an unboxing video and then never do. So I thought I would on this occasion. So this one arrived this morning at about half past nine. So let me show you what we've got. Got 12 beers in there. So let's have a look. I'll show you what we've got. Uh, the first thing that comes out of the old Trembling Madness box and I love this is that they put sweets in and look at that Love Hearts double dip well it's just triple dip zingy lemon tangy raspberry and orange sparkle quality love that I used to love the double dips as a kid and um, there was another box of sweets somewhere I've already opened the box you don't need to see me ripping it open do you and then we've got a little tiny tango tight <laughs> easy for you to say tango tiny tangs pretty cool so yeah, I'm sure my kids will uh, try and swipe those off me. So uh, let's start with the first beer out of the box. And it's a Gola Original, a 500ml, nice big bottle. Uh, that comes in at 4.9% ABV. Uh, this is quite German heavy themed, this box, except for this one. Uh, Black Sheep Brewery, the Choc and Orange Stout. Definitely looking forward to that. I do like a chocolate stout, a chocolate stout, a chocolate orange stout, and quite a difficult one to do as well. So definitely be reviewing that. Next out, uh, Flotzinger. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the word underneath it. Um, but yeah, another German beer. This one comes in at 7.5% ABV. Looking good. What's next? And so I've had it before. It's just a good solid, solid beer is the Spaten. Also had that on Perfect Draft, which was also very good. This is that one. And then we've got a Cloisters Index. Uh, there it is. This one comes in at 5.9% ABV. I did say this was quite a German heavy box. Let's pop that there. And this one I had to try uh, from Paulina is the Salvatore Doppelbock. Salvatore Doppelbock. Great looking label. That comes in at 7.9% ABV. 500ml bottle. Very nice. And we've also got a Larenbrow. This one's called the Triumphator. A Dunkel Doppelbock. Coming in at 7.6% ABV. Very nice indeed. And a, another another German. Uh, we've got Hackershaw Animator. Another Doppelbock. Doppelbock coming in at 8.1% ABV. Look at that. Glorious bottle. Some lovely looking bottles on the German beers. Lovely labelling. And we've got another Gola. This one's the Dunkel. And this comes in at 5.2% looking good do love their labels and then we have this one I can't remember how you pronounce this I think it's Pohalla this Pohalla Cellar series uh, looking very nice this sounds incredible I'll read this one out because it does sound incredible it says it's liquid pinata stout wine with Mexican vanilla a stout wine blended from maple syrup tequila and bourbon barrels conditioned with Mexican and Madagascan vanilla that sounds immense store at 12 to 16 degrees so that won't be going in the fridge and abv wise that comes in at where is it oh there it is 13 percent 13 percent abv on that little bad boy 330 mil bottle uh, i didn't even look at the abv when i bought that that's the first time i've seen the abv on that and then why not just a easy drinking Flensburger Pilsner, 440ml can. Can't go wrong with a Flensburger. And the final one in the box. Uh, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? If you follow my channel, you know how much I love New Bristol Brewery beers. And this one's a collab with Attic Brewing. And this is the Ferrero Rocha Stout Chocolate Caramel and Hazelnut. Coming in at 7% ABV. Fantastic artwork on the front. Don't know how well you can see that but really really glorious artwork on that can very nice indeed but yeah looking good looking good 
So there you go, that's all 12 uh, that have come out of the box. So like I say, that came from Tremble of Madness, a fantastic company. They're, generally, if you order before 2 p.m., I think, you'll get it the next day. They are super, super fast. They don't deliver on the weekends, mind you. So I ordered this on Friday and it rocked up at half past nine this morning. Uh, but yeah, normally, if it's during the week, you will get it next day if you order it early enough in the day. Super fast and such an amazing collection of beers they've got. Yes, this one's predominantly German heavy, but they've got styles from all over the world. Um, not sponsored by them. <laughs> it might sound like it, but I'm not. Uh, they're just a great company and the packaging's always spot on as well. So there you go. I was going to do another video uh, well I was going to bolt onto this video everything that's in my beer fridge I was going to go through that so I might still do that I might bolt it on I might do another video and attach the two together um, but I'll see how I feel later anyway there you go I'm all done see you soon take care bye